how's everybody doing today? Really good, mate. This is Curtis. How are you? Fantastic, Curtis. I'll tell you what, man. I am so proud of what you have done on television because you have opened up the kitchen for everybody to take chances. And and you just have so much fun doing it. Oh, thanks so much. I'll tell you what. It's, uh, I never thought I'd be here, but I am, and I'm so grateful for it. And I, I literally wake up every morning excited to go to work. And I think anyone that gets to do that is, is a pretty lucky human, so uh, I'm one of them. But you you never treat it like work. I mean, I, I, I love looking into your eyes in the way that you're, you're always exercising your imagination. What can I do differently here, or how can I bring this into a more, you know, universal kind of a flavor? You know what? It's so interesting because I, I do lots of different things. You know, I work in restaurants, and I was literally at more than till midnight last night, I, you know, and... And being on a stove with my team is literally my favorite place to be. But I also get the opportunity to go on cooking shows and share a little wisdom with people. Maybe I'm a judge on this or that. And this new show, Getting Grilled, um, that I'm able to do with uh, HSN Plus is, is so fun because I've mm-hmm. spent my life cooking for famous people in restaurants. And I've always wondered what it would be like to sit down opposite them and break bread with them and talk to them and you know I always find the conversation just flows when you've got good food and wine around you and um, so that's exactly what this show is you know we take people from the film music um, comedians we get athletes and we sit down with them we spend a good amount of time just chatting they share all sorts of secrets and stories with me and and then I get them in the kitchen it's it's a really fun fun um, way to spend an hour does it does it shock you that that a lot of these creative people really do know what they're doing in the kitchen? Maybe a few need to be tweaked, but they really do have a path. Well, we shot thirty episodes, and I'm not going to lie, we had the good, the bad, the ugly. We had some <laughs> people that absolutely loved to cook. Terry Hatcher was a really interesting one. She finished Desperate Housewives, and she said, "I really want to know how to cook at a high level." So she enrolled in culinary school, wow. and she went ahead and did her chef training. I mean, that blew me away. And then I also have musicians that are like, mate, I've spent my life on the road yep. and we've eaten out of microwaves and we've had chefs that have cooked for us along the way and, and, and I have no idea. So I'm a total novice and a beginner, but I'm now a dad and, or a mum and I, I really want to learn the skill of doing it. So we, uh, we really met some very, very interesting people and, um, and being able to cook. Um, alongside that was was a real joy. Well, I can't imagine being right there with Joel McHale because he's he's always a character. He's always on. Dude, he's so funny. He <laughs> he literally has you in stitches. Um, but there's a really serious side to him as well. You know, he spoke to me about being a dad, having a kid with autism. Um, you know what that's like, how that how hard that is on the family, um, and what a great human being his kid is, and how much he wants to support him and and pave the way for him and. You know, so it, it it really is cool to see different sides of some. Uh, Sebastian Maniscalco, yes. again, wonderful guest, you know, very interesting story. And he moved to L.A. to become a comedian and found himself working as a bartender at the Four Seasons and looking over the bar and seeing people like Robert De Niro and Al Pacino and, and learning how he manifested his career and ended up, yeah, I mean, he, he, he directed a movie or he wrote a movie where... Robert De Niro played his dad. You know, one of his heroes literally played his father in a movie that he created. And and listening to how someone did that, that's <laughs> really cool. Getting Grilled is actually filmed on your property. Now, does that mean that you're going to be pulling from the garden such a property too to cook with them? Absolutely. Oh. We've got a, a little ranch out in Malibu. There's 60 acres and we've got a little vineyard on it. So we, we drink our Four Stones wine that we produce there. There's four of us, me, Lindsay, and and the two boys, so that's the name of the farm. Um, and it's super cool to be able to bring these people into my space and take a wander through the vineyard. We play some silly games outside in the yard, and, and then we sit down and we, you know, we talk lots and we we eat and drink lots, and it's 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 a whole lot of fun. Wow! One of the, one of the things that I love about your show and the way that you've you've gotten into it is the fact that those of us that are home chefs at home, what we like to do though is we have we have to have that courage to explore and that confidence that it's okay to make a mistake because we can turn this thing around. You you send that message out to us so perfectly. You know what? You're absolutely right. You know, I, yeah, we can have great times in restaurants. Of course, I own restaurants. I I want you to come to restaurants, but. Sometimes the best meals are at home. And I think when you say to someone, what's the best thing you've ever eaten? A lot of them start with, my mum used to make, yep. or my granny used to make. You know, and 
and that's that feeling of being cared for and loved and, and watching someone um, nurture you through food and and I think there really is something so special about it and um, you know that that's why I'm a lucky man I, I get up every day excited to go to the restaurant or the studio or whatever it is I'm doing because it's always around food and uh, and always ends in a, in a good laugh. You're going to think I'm a freak, but one of the things that I love about being in the kitchen is that while I'm preparing dinner, I'm also washing dishes. I find a lot of solitude with my hands in the water cleaning the dishes. Oh, mate, you've got to come around to my house because I hate <laughs> doing the dishes and I absolutely <laughs> love cooking, so we would be a good team. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, do you find yourself being inspired that maybe you'll do a cookbook with celebrities? Oh, that's you know what I've never thought of that, but why not? That's a great idea. I could do um, I could do something with all the recipes that we created together. That's a really interesting idea. Yeah. Well, the name of the show is Getting Grilled. It's on HSN. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, thank you so much. It's awesome that people can stream this on HSN Plus. It's free. Anyone that's got the internet can get it. And I'm so grateful that you had me on. Thank you. You bet. Be brilliant.